So this question talks about a graph and it's talking about the depth uh, of water uh, in a tank after two seconds. So probably a little uh, tap being opened and the water's uh, leaving at a constant rate. Um, so it's probably a rectangular base tank um, or a circular base tank with cylinder. Um, just a constant rate's happening here because it's a straight line. So it's asking us to find the gradient of the graph. Well, we need to remember the definition of gradient. Well, we use the letter M to represent gradient in uh, straight lines. And the definition is the change in the Y coordinate divided by the change in the X coordinate. And the formula for it is Y2 take Y1, X2 take X1. So basically, we need two coordinates um, on this line, um, which will allow us to calculate the gradient. So we might as well use this one. And we might as well use this one. So it um, uses the whole length of the line and therefore will give us the greatest accuracy. Um, so this coordinate is 140, 0. So that means our x1 value and our y1 values are defined by those. And this one has got a coordinate of 0 and we are halfway between 180 and 240. Um, so there's a gap there of 60, so 30, 210. And that gives us our um, x2, y2 values. Okay, so we put those into the equation. Um, so y2 was 210, take away y1, which was 0. And we're dividing that by x2, which was 0, take away x1, which was 140. So we've got 210 over negative 140. Calculate a paper, so 210 divided by 140 equals 1.5. This is a positive divided by a negative, so it'll be a negative answer, negative 1.5. Um, no units given, so it's useful to think what this means. Well, the 210 was represented the centimetres. The 140 was representing seconds. So the units of this would be negative 1.5 centimetres per second. OK, so that's how we'd find the gradient of that line. Um, the question then says explain what the gradient represents. Well, it's a negative 1.5 centimetres uh, per second. So it's telling us that the depth is decreasing at a rate of 1.5 centimetres per second. So depth is decreasing at a rate of 1.5 centimetres per second. It's a straight line, so it's a constant uh, change. And the gradient of the line is always about the rate of change of that uh, line, in this case. If it was a curve, then it would be the rate of change at that point, uh, if you do the gradient at a particular point on a curve. OK, so that's how that question uh, could have been answered.